President Park Geun-hye, meanwhile, was briefed immediately this morning after the North Korean nuclear blast was detected. The commander in chief arrived uh, four hours earlier than planned back home. She cut her short, uh, short her diplomatic schedule in Laos uh, to attend this to the situation here in Seoul. Immediately upon the arrival, she called for a meeting of her top aides to assess the situation. Our top office correspondent Song Ji-sun is live at the uh, nation's top office. She joins us live. Uh, Ji-sun, so President Park Geun-hye is attending a meeting of her key aides right now. Exactly, Gaon. President Bakone has arrived in Seoul base around three and a half hours ago, and she convened an emergency meeting checking up on her nation's security conditions. Now that meeting came to a close about half an hour ago, with the nation's defense minister, foreign affairs minister, and her chiefs of staffs also attending the meeting. At the meeting, President Bakone said, "This is an imminent and a real threat, and a countermeasure from the international community must be different now." And she also added that the Kim Jong Un regime has gone out of control. Now, following this fifth nuclear test, she was briefed early this morning, and she immediately ordered a national security council meeting back home, which was chaired by Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-an. After an emergency meeting with her chief aides and cabinet members who were in Vientiane, President Park released a message strongly condemning the North Fifth nuclear test. She said a nuclear test only proves Kim Jong Un regime's mad recklessness, and that this fifth nuclear test, as well as the fourth one earlier this year. Or a clear violation of the UN Security Council resolutions, neglecting the international community. North Korea's nuclear test, coming less than 24 hours after the East Asia summit's adoption of a non-proliferation statement, is proof that it completely ignores the international community's united position against the North's nuclear program, and attests to maniacal recklessness of North Korean leader Kim Jong Un. She also said Pyongyang is on path to self-destruction and further isolation, as long as it completely ignores the international call to abandon its nuclear ambitions. The only thing the Kim Jong Un regime has gained from today's nuclear test is tougher sanctions and further isolation from the international community, which will eventually speed up its path to self-destruction. President Biden also spoke with U.S. President Barack Obama on the phone for about 15 minutes, less than four hours after the confirmed launch. The allies vowed to seek stronger countermeasures, including upgraded U.N. Security Council resolutions. President Obama also pledged to protect South Korea with all necessary measures, according to their joint defense treaties, which includes a nuclear umbrella to deter the North nuclear proliferation. She also spoke with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Vying to closely coordinate against North Korean provocations. At the meeting, which just ended 30 minutes ago, she also called for national unity to jointly counter North Korean threat. She also vowed that, in close alliance with the international community, Seoul will seek stronger countermeasures on bilateral and global levels. She also said that the,、uh, she will do anything and she will take all the necessary measures to make sure that North Korea abandons nuclear ambitions. Kanyang.